Hey guys, today I've got a really special treat for you. We will run the first trains ever on my garden railroad to see if all the switches work. So buckle up, grab a locomotive and have some fun. I had so much fun playing with those trains in the garden, it got dark on me. But the main objective was to find out if those steel switches will work properly. And I can say they do and they don't. So let me show you an example. I have discovered two main problems with some of the switches. So since all my teal switches are used in the garden layout, I will use this Pico switch as a showcase, but I've only had those problems with the teal switches as of today. So the first problem was this piece right here. On the teal switches it is made out of metal and as you can see right here there is a bend and this bend was not bent enough <laughs> to say so. So the rail car would come in and would run against this uh, guiding piece and then it would derail or at least uh, jump up and down on the other side. So this was an easy fix. I used uh, n uh, needle nose pliers and I bent those a little further and then it went smooth. The other problem I discovered on some areas of the switch, uh, the tracks were too narrow together, uh, mostly right in here. So I used a file and filed down some of the tracks. It was just a few millimeters 
or parts of a millimeter so very little but it was noticeable and since I've done that all the switches work properly and fine. So overall the test went really smooth. I had a lot of fun running my trains on the layout although I had to do some modifications to a few switches but now they work all fine and that was the goal for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this short little video and we will see us in the next one. Bye!